You'll need 16 pieces of 12 gauge wire right here. Black, this will be the hot side. We need to strip off three quarters of an inch on each end and then bend the one end. Now make 16 of those. White ones, same thing. You only need two of these though. They're both eight inches. You'll need six of four inch white. On them we want to bend both ends towards each other. So they look like that. And you need six of those. The 21 inch ground wires, you'll need two of them. Bend them in two at the eight inch mark. 12 inch mark, 16 inch, and then bend the end over. That's how you want it to look. You'll need eight wall sockets. These can be picked up at most hardware stores for less than a buck. On the side of the socket with the two brass screws. The other side has two silver. These are the common. But on the side with the brass screws, this is the hot side. We want to break off this little tab that's in between the screws. That separates the top socket from the bottom socket. So now it's two separate places that you can plug a plug into. When people put these in their houses, most people put them in with the hole down, but a lot of people put them with the hole up. It really makes no difference, but for the purpose of this video, up is going to be with the slots on top. The small slot is your hot side, the large slot is your common, the hole is your ground. So now let's start wiring. We're going to begin wiring the sockets up. First on the hot side, which is your brass colored screws, the side we broke the tab off of, we're going to put both black wires. If your loop's not quite tight enough, if it's getting caught, tighten it up a little bit with your needle nose. Now on the common side, on the top, we're going to put our little 4 inch with the double bend on it. As I said in earlier, the top is the side with the slots, so on the top we'll put it. And on the bottom, the 8 inch, common. Alright, that's those four. Now the ground wire that we bent up earlier, on the first bend there at the 8 inch, put that on the ground screw. And tighten it up. Okay, that's the first one. Now we're going to string our four sockets together. We're going to take the four inch ground wire off the first one, arc it over so it's straight down, then we'll take our second socket. I've already installed the two black wires for the hot side and the four inch uh, white common right here and it's on the opposite terminal of, as the first one. The top, first one was on the top, this one's on the bottom. We'll connect this one onto the silver terminal Tighten it down. Now we'll attach our grounding wire to the green grounding screw. And 
tighten it down. And we'll move on to the third one. Now the fourth one. Once again, the two black wires are in place, but we have no common this time. If you were to use more gang boxes, this is where you would attach your common on to come out of the gang box and go to the third gang box. But we're only using two, so this is as far as I need to go. I'm gonna bend down the common. Connect it. And the last grounding. And that's what it looks like. We have our common and our grounding wire here and the four sets of black hot wires in the back. This is ready now to be installed into the gang box. When you make the second set, it's a mirror image. The ground and the common are on this end along with the eight uh, hot bleeds. This pur the purpose of this is to get all of our grounds and our commons in the center of the box here where we'll be connecting them to our 110 power supply.